morning. So this morning, I'm going to experiment with powdered whole eggs. So I'm not going to give you the brand. This could be any brand. Um, I haven't used this product. A friend sent it to Paul. But eggs are so expensive here and cheap in Indonesia, I thought I'll try it. So it says for one egg is one and a half tablespoons. And um, what did I say, 13 milliliters of water? 38. Oh, 38. So we need three eggs to make an omelet. I'm still um, cooking onions and sausages. So I'm going to do it on low heat. So, one, two, three. Okay, pause. Good morning. This morning I decided to experiment with powdered whole eggs. Add water to, to use. So our friend gave us this. Um, eggs are cheap in Indonesia, so we're just going to try to use this up. So I'm making an omelet. I'm sizzling onions and sausage right now on low heat. So I need three eggs, so that's um, four and a half tablespoons. So I'm going to, that's one, two, three, four and a half, okay. So four, and I already measured out the water, so it's one and a half tablespoons per 38 milliliters of water. So I got the water ready. And this is not exact measurements because you see the um, line, but I'll see the consistency of this. So we're just going to use it up. We don't need to save it. But this is a good alternative for boulders, RV people that can't go to the supermarket all the time, don't have enough space in the refrigerator, um, I'll let you know how it turns out and how it tastes. Here's the consistency. You know, it's powdered, so I just have to break the little chunks. Probably the fork is better. I'd suggest do it in a deeper container that you can stir more vigorously with it. Yeah. Thing. You say use this for eggs, sir. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. So, I made an omelet, but the consistency is different from real eggs, of course. So, come... So, I might have to scramble it, or just, um... See, maybe I should have added some oil to it to make it a little bit the consistency. But um, we'll see. Let's come up closer. Oh, maybe I should. So it doesn't slide off like real eggs. I did put um, canola spray, and this is a non-stick pan. But this sometimes happens with um, real eggs too. But right here, where it chunks off, it's bubbly. Um, Come help, Paul. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it's done. Once you get the edge, you know it.
the video camera. Okay, now you taste it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Taste te test. Um. Your face. <gasps> what? Be honest. It I tastes uh, powdery. Okay, let me taste. Okay, taste test for me. Paul um, said maybe add some milk to make it a little bit um, creamier. And usually I do add milk to my omelets and eggs, but I wanted to just taste it by itself. Mm. It's not super good and it's not super horrible. So this is... I think not a, um, not a bad substitute if you needed eggs to cook, um, make omelets if you can't find eggs for long-term cruising, camping. So I would actually give this a go, and I would buy this. And I'll experiment with a little bit of oil, milk. What do you think, Paul? Yeah, definitely try some oil and milk to give it a, a better texture. But would you buy this? Yes. Great, so, great substitute to have in the cupboard. So two yeses, and I'll do maybe one or two more videos with adding oil and milk. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Stuart, this is proof that I'm sending you my second postcard. So I guess this is what you look for. And my message, and I said red lipstick, it's red lip gloss. So I'm going to kiss it. Um... And I'm going to go to the post office to send it. So hopefully you receive the second one. Good evening. I'm Christine on Sailing Gypsy Christine and on Free Spirit Christine. And today my cooking lesson is Fingers and Mash. Um, the British, Irish, Australians love Fingers and Mash. Basically it's just sausages. So, let's come look. I am cooking the sausages. They have them um, at the Australian supermarket for really cheap. Like $6 for a lot. Like 15 of them. So, um, God knows what's in it, but it's delicious. So, I don't care. So, I cut it in half. It's easier to cook. Um, I don't boil it. I just cook it like this. Pan fry. And it's really yummy with mashed potatoes, mushy peas, and gravy. But today I have green split peas that I boiled for a while. So this I already did. It's the potatoes and the green peas. And later Paul's going to mash it up and uh, make the gravy. So it's very easy, quick, cheap, yummy, filling meal. Okay, Paul's going to turn the sausages over. I hate doing that because it splashes. And cooking in the nude, um, I don't like splash, it hurts. And I've been splashed many a time. So I'm going to stay out here, and he's going to work on that. Flipping over sausages. The hard part. So Paul's preparing um, the mashed potatoes, and yes, I leave the skin on, I just scrub it. It's a lot of um, nutrients in the skin. And it's a good thing that Paul's a hobo like me, because a lot of people complain about, you know, shitty ass not um, taking off the skin. Mostly it's laziness. Um, it's a lot of work. But he, um, do you care that I don't take off the skin? Not at all, but here's a little trick. Um, I'm about to pour the hot water out down the sink to drain the peas. But steam often burns your hand, so you run cold water and pour it out into the cold and you get no steam or very little steam coming up onto your hand. Oh, interesting. See, nice thing. 
And there goes the sausages, a.k.a. bangers. Margarine. Oh, butter's better, but we're just trying to get rid of this. Yeah, we're trying to get rid of that cheap-ass fake margarine that's going to give us heart attack. And I'm excited! My green split piece of dry ones, I didn't soak it. It's mushy! Because I boiled it two times. One with the potatoes to save water. And there goes the fingers. Huh? So fast mush with uh, milk, fake, um, not fake, but fake butter, margarine, and potatoes. Paul's mixing the gravy. We just use the instant gravy with water. He likes it really thick, so I always have him do it. Okay, Paul loves thick, thick gravy. Definitely like it thick. I did bring it to the boil too quickly because the pan was already hot. Didn't bring it to the boil, it boiled instantly, but nonetheless. So I plated it, um, I put some herbs, some um, thyme and rosemary on the mashed potatoes. I like herbs. I like gravy. Oh yeah, he loves gravy. He can use up all of it. Real basic Aussie meal, but bloody yummy. So there you have it. It looks really lumpy, but fingers and mash. So we're going to eat it with white chilled wine I put in the freezer so it's like a slushy cast wine. So cheers and let me taste it. Mmm. You like the crunchy burnt bit? Mm-hmm. Cheap Aussie sailing meal. Fast and easy. My turn.